as they already knew. More or less. So here's something that you didn't know. Hey guys, so I know that this isn't the typical video that I would be uploading to my channel, but I'm just wanting to talk a little bit about the new changes that have been taking place here with the whole YouTube community and anyone on here who has their own personal channel or anybody out there that wants to start their own channel. So if I keep looking down, it's just because I'm literally reading off of a screen. I just want to get the back straight and then I just wanted to have this video be open to discussion and if anybody has any questions to leave that in the comments below or if there's anything that I don't include in this video that you guys may know that I might not know in regards to it but on January 16th so this past week they announced that the new eligibility requirements for YPP which just stands for YouTube Partner Program that once a channel reaches 4,000 watched hours over the course of 12 months and 1,000 subscribers, it is then able to be reviewed to joining the program in order to have videos monetized. And monetization really is pretty much just allowing someone to include all of those ads that you see that either pop up before their video starts or I think if their video is 10 minutes or longer once they're able to monetize then you'll see maybe a video pop up midway through or just at different intervals throughout the video while it's playing. In the past it didn't limit you to reaching those goals within a 12 month time frame like it's doing now. So anyone, once their channel was created, if they don't reach that within a year, YouTube is only giving them until the 20th, I believe. So about 30 day warning. And if they don't reach that, by that date, then they are no longer eligible. I think the only way that they would become eligible again is if they created a whole another YouTube account and started from there, but then the clock would obviously start over and they would have a whole year to do that. So basically what that means, it's not preventing anyone out there from making videos, editing and, you know, creating content and posting it on a channel, that is still fine. They can, but as far as things like having any of their videos eventually become something that they can make money on, as much as anyone out there might tell you that they create videos just because they love it, that is a very important aspect to having a YouTube channel, you need to feel very passionate about it and that definitely shows in videos and people that are out there just for money or thinking it's like a, you know, get rich scheme or just the thing to do. And then there's people out there who eventually hope that they can keep creating videos because they are passionate about it, because they will profit off of it. I mean, you only see as far as, you only see as much as I or anybody else is willing to share. You don't see someone's entire life through a seven minute video here. So there's a lot of other things that go into it and it's time consuming. And I don't think someone who's trying to grow their channel should be restricted or limited to however long that takes them. You know, off camera, there's a lot of other things. People have jobs, people have to make money in order to get to that point and ultimately make this my job where I can devote all of my time to making videos. But in the meantime, you know, it's a process. I don't have 24 hours a day to sit here and create videos for you guys. So at the end of the day, as much as I like doing it, uh, no, that's not what I should say. So I saw a lot of people, especially on Twitter, talking about it and they were saying they were trying to figure out if they need a thousand subscribers or four thousand watch hours in the past 12 months or both 
Um, with this new policy, you do need both. And if your channel has fewer than a thousand subscribers or fewer than the 4,000 watch hours, and it doesn't meet both of those requirements, you will be removed from YPP starting February 20th of this year. The new requirement is for a channel to have 4,000 watch hours in the last 12 months ongoing and a thousand subscribers total before it is reviewed to join the program. So that actually, if anybody knows or can explain that to me, I'm actually wondering if that is talking about, so I don't, I, I don't know if that's trying to say that you don't get reviewed until you reach that or if you're constantly being reviewed and you only have a year in which to do that. I don't know when that time starts. But if your channel drops below 4,000 watch hours, how would that even happen? How would it go down? Below 4,000 watch hours in the previous 12 months, ads will not run. Oh, yeah, but how can... I could see your subscriber count dropping, but once you have so many hours, you know, of time from people viewing your videos, how could that go down? Note that in cases of temporary drops, oh, maybe if people were to like delete videos, if your channel drops to 999 subscribers for a day and then it returns to over a thousand, the channel may not be removed from the program. That's good to know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so make sure to change your view so that it shows times and hours. Oh, okay, that's good to know. I'll have to figure out how to do that. I've never actually looked on my own channel. But when you go into your watch time report under YouTube analytics, when you sign in, it is defaulted to minutes. So I guess you can change that into showing how many hours that calculates into. Will I lose access to creator features if I do not meet the new YPP criteria? So it says that channels currently needed to be in the YouTube Partner Program, YPP, in order to access certain features. Here is how access may change. Features that are not affected. You do not currently need to be in the YPP to use the following features. Cards, Creator Studio, custom URLs, custom thumbnails, end screens, live streaming, scheduling uploads. If anybody is interested, actually, I didn't even know that I could do that. If anybody would be interested in me live streaming and just having an open conversation about the new changes, that way it's not just, you know, a permanent video on here where I'm uploading and just having a one-sided conversation with you guys. Let me know in the comments below and I will do that. You currently need to be in YPP to use some. Uh, so the features that you wouldn't have access to would be Super Chat and sponsorships. I don't even know what Super Chat is. You can use Super Chat to let your viewers purchase chat messages in your live streams. Was this article helpful? Yes or no? Kind of? <laughs> Alright, let's see what else. I just read that YouTube has over 1 billion active viewers, which is almost one-seventh of the world's population. That is crazy. We all know this, and regardless of anything that may have changed as far as policies on YouTube, one thing that hasn't changed and one thing that is good to remember. Number one, obviously don't get discouraged from this and keep doing what you're doing, but consistency is key. That is the number one thing I recommend for anyone out there. Before ever starting my own YouTube channel, when I would watch someone else's channel, as much as I liked watching their videos, if they haven't posted in a while, you kind of, I mean, you don't forget about them. You probably are still subscribed, but you just, you, people want to see new content. They want to know if they come back to your channel that you have a new upload. They want to see, you know, what's new and 
consistency, whether that is you're able to post every day and daily vlog if that's your thing if you have the time for that if you can you know let your viewers know that you will post a video every monday and sunday or maybe it's once a week just always having a schedule and setting those goals and meeting those goals is important and will keep people coming back um i will show you i actually keep this right above my desk I just grabbed this at Target. They have the cutest stuff in the dollar section there. So this was, I think it was just a dollar. Yeah, it was just a dollar. And it's new for 2018. And I, every time I post, I mark it down. And I think it'll be really cool to look back on at the end of the year, all the times that I have posted and just keep a count. But for me, that is motivation and, you know, to know um, I may not upload on the same day, but I am making sure to put out content once a week. And that is just a little reminder to me to know to know when to get another video up. So just having a visual, even as something as simple as that, is definitely important. Because um, like I said, you know, people have things outside of YouTube and distractions and um, jobs and families and other things and tasks and chores and things to get done that sometimes you know you forget and you don't make the time but if this is something that you are really um, adamant about and growing and creating an audience and having people come back to watch your videos then that should be something that you incorporate um, trust me it helps because I didn't do that at the beginning and I wasn't as consistent with uploading new videos so. so let me know what you guys think about the new changes here and if anybody has any insight as to why they did this please enlighten me <laughs> i would love to know um i don't i mean life is not fair but i just don't think it's fair to put a time limit on somebody's growth i don't necessarily think that having the most subscribers constitutes good content. So I'm all about quality over quantity and things like that take time, you know? So hopefully, maybe this is temporary and maybe it will go back, but I have a feeling that it's not changing. And I also wanted to just take this time to mention, guys, stop who doesn't already watch um, for anyone that is new to my channel hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already and I just want to say thank you for watching my videos I will talk to you guys really soon